for humans. For humans. Okay. Okay, so we have uh, Yahas Harris with Orzov and uh, Figas George with Asper Humans. So right now we're gonna give the players the OK sign and they they will start the match momentarily. So let's give them the go sign and let's get down to this. Okay, so we're back, and the players are gonna roll four dice, and he has uh, the fun thing would be to roll four dice and have the lowest result be yeah. the winner. Yeah. So, so right now, the players are gonna take their opening hands. Uh, Yachas wins just by sleeves alone. I think he yeah. has Star, Star Wars sleeves. Really cool sleeves. Okay. So right now they're gonna try. Draw their opening hands, and does Yachas know what uh, no, George know. is playing? No, I don't know. Uh, and I don't think that uh, he will understand from the first play. Of yeah, the, yeah. If he sees, if he sees an aggressive term on play, he's gonna. Maybe he think he's a black white aggro deck from the pro two. Uh, that surprises. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <has. laughs> okay, so let's see. Um, George is gonna. Has it, he decided if he wants to keep his no, hand I or think not? He's choosing right now. Oh, okay. Maybe he has a long light hand, but a very good curve. Yeah. Uh, hmm. Let's see if he decides. Oh, no, he, he, might against, he might against this hand. So, just looking at, you, at the list, uh, what do you think is the optimal hand for the Aspect Humans? Because we haven't seen this deck in. You know, quite a while. Yeah. It's uh, to care about also, like, uh, it's like a, but uh, with uh, way more mythics. <laughs> okay. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, way, uh, way more mana, uh, mana intensive cards, like the uh, uh, soldier of Johnny, pressing captain, as some, as far as I see, some Afros. Okay, so right now uh, he's gonna take a mulligan. Actually, he's he, a mix of a bunch of good cards. I think. So he, this is a mix of good cards, and good cards need to curve out. Yeah. Apparently, and but his curve stops at like six mana. We see an Elspeth and champion, and. The top of the curve is an Elspeth. Okay, that's a very interesting deck. So Harris is gonna start with a Temple of Silence. He's gonna scry and he's you know wondering where to put the card. And right now, if you are Harris, you're playing uh, the deck we've seen many times, the black white mid range decks. You to put the bottom. So you have After all. A long, uh... Yeah. So no, he himself to bring uh, the only one drop in the deck. Soldier of Pantheon. Soldier of Pantheon. How important is Soldier of Pantheon versus Source of uh, Mid Range? Important, I think. As a. Uh, many ways to. <coughs> but. Uh, certainly. Uh, it's very helpful against uh, all other matchups that it has to apply pressure. Okay, we see thoughts is from uh, Harris. Hand, uh, yeah. The Imposing Sovereign is a pretty. Uh, is a very important card for the deck. Okay. Because he moves blockers just by being on the battlefield. Yeah, yeah. So you take an actual extra turn each time yeah. a guy comes down. So we see a thought is in that thought is reveals an imposing sovereign, a Lee of Sky Knight, if I'm not mistaken, mm. another soldier of the Pantheon. Maybe there's a Phara. Oh, this, this is a Phara, yeah. Phara and the sure. Decides to take the other soldier of the Pantheon. So this is Skryland, Temple of Enlightenment. This is a Temple of yeah, yeah, it's a Temple of Enlightenment and a, de and a Detention Sphere. So Harris will not. <coughs> Harris not, and uh, that's a, really the advantage of uh, you know the black card, black uh, decks. Yeah. Uh, of course, the key card in the matchup is Blood Baron and Scopa. Of course, yeah. Uh, uh, he has only two far ways. Kill him. You cannot kill him. Okay, so if we see Blood Baron, we know that this match goes in Yaha's favor. Yeah. 
and right now Yahush has um, a temple of, a temple of his own but he it's a slight splash here okay so right now he's gonna attack drop Yahush down to 16 and right now we see what does Yahas want to say? I'm, I'm confused by this matchup actually. Yeah. So Yahas just wants a big guy like a Desecration Demon and he's gonna be fine, right? So he plays a land and right now if he has a back card of course it's good but he has seen a detention sphere he would have taken that. So the fact that he took a uh, Soldier of the Pantheon means that he has no way to remove both of those. So he's gonna go for so another so Thoughts. So that reveals just another land. A Phara, a land, a uh, Detention Sphere and an Imposing Sovereign and most likely he's gonna take a Phara. Phara? I don't know. Maybe the Sovereign because he removes blockers and his plan is to make it up to 5 mana to, to cast bring a uh, Blood Baron of Scoba. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, the Sovereign is gonna I'll uh, tap down the Baron for just a turn, but otherwise, if our uh, will I draw cards, he, I yeah. I think that he needs to remove his creatures. If if he has a back rat, do you think that he would choose the Tensor Sphere right now? If he, uh, if he has something like a demon uh, or back rat, yeah. If he has a threat, uh, he will choose the Tensor Sphere. Mm -hmm. Something like, uh, I think, uh, also. Uh, Playing like Ben Zombies, which uh, will uh, snatch a Phara if he is in his hand. So, I think the right one to choose is either the Tessus Fear because it's a removal or the creature to stop him from curving out, which uh, he does. So, maybe there's another Duress to take the Tessus Sphere and he has only the Phara in his hand. Which is gonna, you know, take a turn to play. Yeah, and but... uh, I don't know if he has a Life Ben. If he has a Life Ben also in his hand, then he's devastated. <laughs> Actually, yeah, but do you think if he had a life main, do you think he would, wouldn't he lead off with life main, just, you know, get the body on the board? No, because he needs to take a Phara with a life main, mm -hmm. and uh, then yeah. he will have uh, the two drop being okay. cast. And the Phara doesn't come down because he has a Temple of Silence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. okay, makes sense. So, we see a Temple of Mystery, uh, sorry, it's Silence, yeah, Temple of Silence, and we see a Temple of Triumph. And he's gonna carry, and actually, Harris has a lot of temples in his deck. Yeah, and he has one, one, one and one triumph. Yeah, does he splash any other color no, no, in no. in his sideboard? Just the black white. Just in order to scry, yeah. does he mm -hmm. play Night Veils? No. Okay, so he just wants the extra scry. Yeah. Yeah, okay, makes sense. It's the value of the scry. Actually, the value of the scry lands is actually pretty high. If I will come down. And Soldier of the Pantheon is gonna go into the red zone. He shot himself to play, but now he needs to a lot of pretty good objects in order to back. Uh, if Fire isn't. Because Fire uh, Pocket uh, threatens uh, to kill him right now. Yeah, and actually we saw the power of Thoughts is because he took apart his. And uh, Black Baron that yeah. he about. So th this game, while uh, the Esper Humans is an all-confusing deck, in its core it's just, you know, a white and a black deck with some, you know, splashes of blue, so... The blue is just a splash. Yeah, so Bloodbound is gonna be good at yeah. the end of the day, and... And I think he will uh, run over with the game right now. Okay. So he has a Bloodbound, once that Baron starts hitting, it's all over for any, you know, hops of race, uh, hops of racing, so... Paul Fugas, so he's gonna animate the mutable, he, he's gonna swing with the team and this is for eight okay for nine. This is for nine and yeah, he will animate the other mutable. Most likely no. he will I mean is there any reason not to right now? Just uh he animates the other Okay, he animates Ten points, shrink. ten points of damage. He gains uh, four life thanks to the blood baron having lifelink. And right now, it's gonna be—it's actually pretty difficult to win because yeah. you're—you are. Yeah, I think he doesn't have any. Reason. He's 
pretty quiet life. Uh, yeah, okay. To, to worry about yeah. any anything like that, yeah. Not even me, a giant just drone. And of course, a fire is nowhere near to being devoted, so. Most likely he's dead right now. Mm -hmm. He has an Ajani in his hand, but that's not gonna be enough. To play, no, he reveals Ajani, which is, I think, actually a mistake. You don't yeah. have to do that, yeah. You can hide all the information. You can hide. Something yeah. special like Ajani because he can steal a game. Of yeah. Flying double strike so you wanna give your opponent all, you know, the least bit of information yeah. that you are allowed to. If, you are, if your opponent actually casts a thought says, can you scoop right there if you're gonna lose anyway? Yeah. I mean, I would do that, course, but you can scoop right there, yeah. So that's a wise thing to do. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's talk si sideboard options because this is a weird deck and we haven't seen this one in quite a while, so I'm not really sure how do you sideboard with Asper Humans in this meta. There are many one-offs. I don't know which one. Okay, can, can you talk a bit about his sideboard? Like, in it's a pretty interesting sideboard. There are there are three Supreme Verdicts sideboard. He, so he sides uh, Supreme Verdict. I think he will side in the Verdicts right now because okay. Black Baron is very problematic. Card. He side Black Baron because of the connections of the Banishing Lights. He may the three Thoughtseizes was very good to get the back rat whenever he can play. That's all I think. Uh, has anyone surprised? Maybe he would bring it uh, uh, along with uh, other long issues with that is in his sideboard. Okay, yeah. He negates aren't worth it. So you do not bring in the gate with that? Uh, he has many different gates. Side them out. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Uh, um, Along with the Soldier of the Pantheon, so I don't see them being very good. It's much bigger the first time Soldier of the Pantheon wasn't enough. I came uh, uh, break into the link, come in, uh, stay in uh, Avatar's cyber games. Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, they can't. Uh, I think that uh, uh, one more life in Zombie. Because mm -hmm. uh, his opponent's uh, deck is full of white creatures. Maybe uh, the two D sides because he's in uh, the far arm. So he he thinks that there may, may be more enchantments. Yeah. Like banishing, like he's in the tension yeah. sphere, so yeah. that's a really the nice D choice. Side is good. This side is good, so uh, right now let let me remind you that this event is brought to you by eFantasy.gr and it is covered by Razor's Edge Gaming. If you want to see any of the videos from uh, yesterday or from this World Magic Cup qualifier, be sure to head to RazorsEdgeGaming.gr, our website for anything card game related. We have lots of articles and decks by all the best players in Greece for Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh DCG, the Magic the Gathering, and Hearthstone Heroes of Warcraft. If you wish, for, if you wish to cover any event, if you wish to have it streamed live, be sure to contact us. We take uh, deals for this kind of thing. Uh, you can find our contact info on our website, RazorsetGaming.gr. If you want to find the standings, you can head also to our webpage, RazorsetGaming.gr. We have many. We have the standings there that are updated automatically. So right now, um, both players are going to shuffle. And do you think this matchup has, you know, is it important to be on the draw or on the play, mm, or you both, do uh, not think so? Both green the deck, so doesn't matter who plays first. Especially in the sideboard games, where the, the majority's deck, uh, I think he will transform it into Esper Midrange. Okay. So, what do you think uh, he will bring in apart? Do you think he brings in the Thought Scissors? I, I think he will uh, side out uh, the one tops, the Soldier of Pantheon, and some of the pressing captains, and uh, will bring in the Thought Scissors and the Supreme Verdicts. Oh, okay. And uh, transform it into the Midrange deck. So you're hoping to win with an Elspeth, San Sambion, or maybe I mean, Brimas, yeah? So you are... We are talking about Esper mid-range versus, you know, white-black mid-range right there, yeah. How important do you think those verdicts would be? Uh, 
but uh, if Yara knows about their, uh, I mean, can she know about them? That is the real question. There was a, a period where yeah. they, uh, the deck was popular yeah, once, yeah, and yeah. they played the supermarkets in the sideboard, the Esper Humans, uh, as we called the deck. Okay, of course the deck debuted in uh, Grand Prix. Actually, I'm not really sure. I believe I think it was a Japanese one. Yeah. Yeah, and very strange deck. So let's see if players wish to take a Mulligan. We hope they don't. And let's see. They both kept. Okay, so Fergus is gonna take. He's gonna play Godless Ryan tapped. And he's gonna pass the turn back to Harris, who is gonna take the draw and. Let's see what he does. He plays a mount. He plays a swamp. Passes the turn back to George, so he's going to take a draw and plays in Temple of Silence. Sees the top card. Leave it there. No, no. he's going to sky to the bottom. Yeah, okay. Passes back and right now, let's see if we have the Temple of Pakrat. No, turn. Okay. No turn to play from either of. So George is gonna draw. Let's see. What's his perfect turn three? <laughs> he has a Tatani again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he should have revealed that, to be yeah. honest. But is he still like, the, the game? Tatani. Let's see right now. He doesn't work. And Sky Knight. He leaves Sky Knight, which detains a permanent, if I'm not mistaken. I haven't seen the leave Sky Knight in quite a long yeah. time. Okay, Devour Flesh is gonna be played. Uh, do you think. That actually, uh, no, Harris. No, that he play either from Harris. Do you actually think that Harris can afford to just, you know, uh, play that sort of, you know, just drop a demon, attack with just the demon, yeah. if you know that the verdicts are coming, or? Uh, yeah. He's uh, Otherwise, he's happy to just slam a demon there and win from there with some removal. Yeah, yeah, but if you have like another guy in your hand, do you also play it or you're like, okay, this one be, demon uh, is gonna kill you. you personal, have... because I've seen the deck, okay. I would be very skeptical to just uh, bring another one, uh, another creature in the table. Yeah, because you know, your opponent doesn't have a choice, John. Yeah. Those lists don't play it. Didn't used to play it at least, I mean, right now it's just a rock deck. So you're like, I'm gonna attack with my demon, and if you wanna verdict the demon, it's fine. I mean, yeah. why not? I'm, I'm gonna summon spirit. Or yeah, something. yeah, yeah. I'm gonna summon the other one. I just I want to trade one for one. You don't want to spoil yourself. For like yeah, to a two for one, one against you. Okay, so right now we see Mutavolt. We will see Black Baron coming down. Yeah, we saw Mutavolt doing all the work, but and right now I I believe that it. Oh, see if it's he... in the wrong side of the table. Well, it's Blood Baron on Hugo's side. Let's see if he then meet the Devourless. Oh, did he draw a card? Did for no, he didn't forget his third card. Okay. Okay. So right now, Harris is gonna draw. Let's see. He cannot play it, a Blood Baron of his own. So let's see if we have. Also, it's very important because um, no, Ajen cannot target the Blood Baron. For the mm -hmm. kind of target, yeah, so it's not really that important. Yeah. That's, uh, uh, or the Elspeth uh, minus a bill. Can do. Or another Bla Baron of his own, so. I mean, his own Blood Baron yeah. would do the job, yeah. But he has a better. He has something better. He has another. He has a Pakrat. So let's see if I he has. I don't think that uh, uh, now Pakrat will be enough to win the game because he's gaining four turn. And uh, has also the decision in his hand, so okay. I don't see. We have a journey, color of the pride and color of, of pride, and is it? My journey is here. You can target it. I I don't think you can target the blood baron, right? He has yeah. protection from white, so I don't. Will he target his opponent's park rat? <laughs> I don't, I'm not really sure. Can you target he, your opponent's park rat? Mm. I think you can target. <laughs> okay, let's see now. Uh, I'm not really. Can he target the Baron? 
Okay, we're gonna check with this. Yeah, I need uh, to read the Zani. Okay. Okay, so we're just making sure if, you know, I, we don't believe a Jenny can target the Blood Baron. So right now we're going to have a judge call. Uh, we're going to have a judge call and see what the players decided to do. I'm not really sure you can do what they just did. So we're going to make sure and we're going to let you guys know. Okay, so yeah, we have a judge call. We have a judge call right now that's made, of course. Okay, we have a judge call. And let's see, we're gonna wait for the judge call right now. Hold you. Also, right now, it's a fine time to remind you that this event is brought to you by eFantasy.gr, and it is covered by Razor's Edge Gaming. If you wish the videos to, if you wish to check the videos out again, you can find them on our website, RazorsEdgeGaming.gr, along with any of the other. Okay, so uh, what is the situation right now? What happened? Uh, he can put eventually. Uh, plus on plus on counter on a channel because, because he, he has protection. He has yeah. The, Keyword target. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so he just gets one attack with the Blood Baron of the boosted attack. So Ajani just thinks on the field. Yeah, just there, the field. Okay, to see if it's okay. <laughs> okay, yeah. So he cannot activate the ability, but not put counters. Yeah, he can activate the ability, but. Uh, no counters will yeah. be put anywhere. Okay. So Harris will make another park head. And let's see how the players decide to proceed with their turn. It's actually really funny. I mean, uh, if we were like here and staring, and I'm like, he cannot do that. And yeah. I'm pretty sure he couldn't do that. Then but how yeah. many times during the day he did that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, hopefully, I mean, it was a mistake. It wasn't, you know, just like yeah. he was trying to cheat. Neither of them. Uh, uh, Understood what happened. Yeah, because if um, the thing is, when you get to you know round seven, you tend to be nervous. You tend to be you know, I'm gonna if I win, I'm gonna make it, but it's not like I have that much experience, so maybe I'm stressed out. And okay, that happens. Mm -hmm. The thing is not to affect the game in a way that yeah. cannot be fixed. So yeah. So what actually happened to Packard's attack? Yeah. yeah. No. That's actually fine. Both players attack. Okay. Uh, don't know if they attack. And something is played now. Okay, it's a Brimas. Like, no. It's a Life Being Zombie that uh, a catches oh. a Brimas. And, and, and this, yeah. this Brimas should be exiled. Mm -hmm. I don't know if this matters, but you know. Uh, he plays a group of variables. I don't know if he oh. becomes important. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're going to remind the players that this Brimas <laughs> is exiled. Yeah. And, uh, he's going to scoop. I mean, no, why not? Oh, so, uh, he has a blood baron, yes, and why yeah, not? He also has a uh, mutable there to block if he wants to. Oh yeah, 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 of course. I, I, with, uh, I, I, of I, okay, so right. The blood baron. Details on first stop Pakrat. Okay, details on first. Uh, details on first. Get rid of the packets. If far is now devoted and attacks in. Devotion, the addition sphere brings two devotion to a yeah, 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 yeah. So the, the, the far is like seven devotion right now. Yeah. Uh, so did he did he give like double strike to far? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Far. So he shouldn't reveal a Jenny because a Jenny actually did what you said. He gave the, him the win.
Okay, so right now, uh, the match is tied one to one. Ajani was pretty powerful, so. Okay, Harris will bring some miracles for the dead. Counter the life gain from that baron. Maybe. Okay. Uh, don't know if he could do that. Okay, so if you are Harris right now, do you feel fine? You know, I'm gonna go first, maybe slam me back right and everything is fine, or. Yeah, yeah so you. Needs to be careful about his back rats. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, certainly, the uh, discard first turn, second turn back rat is a pretty powerful play. Okay, yeah. And, uh, especially on the play that the Harris would be now. <coughs> So two uh, and he uh, used uh, very aggressively in the power flashes. Okay, so right now uh, the players are gonna shuffle, and we're gonna get down to the match in a couple of minutes. Right now, uh, also let me remind you if you like the coverage and. Uh, you wish to follow more of, of our stuff when we go live be sure to follow our channel uh, so that you can know when we are live we also appreciate it if you show us your support in our social medias you can find us on Facebook YouTube and Twitter be sure to like uh, follow and uh, subscribe so you can know all about you know your favorite card game that may be magic Yu-Gi-Oh or Hearthstone we cover it all so let's get back to the match and as the players get ready um, do you have any results from the floor? Like, are the matches down? There were some IDs. But... Yeah, the IDs are certainly through. They are into the top eight already. Yeah, but then there are many players playing right now. Oh, okay, yeah, so. There are very there are many crucial mm -hmm. matches. So, right now, both players are gonna shuffle. So, I think it's like the boring part of a cover ads. You wanna you wanna see the action, you wanna see the players playing. Okay, so Especially if you don't play. Yeah, yeah, especially if you don't play. Okay, so right now both players have drawn their opening hand. Let's see if they keep it. Let's see right now. Fugas is gonna think hard and he's gonna keep. Okay. And it's Temple of Silence. The card is gonna go. Um, let's see if he leaves it there or he wishes to scry to the bottom. Most likely. Can he leave it there? No. To the bottom. To the bottom you go, Fugas is happy to say that. You are always happy to see your opponent's current cards to the bottom. He's gonna play Temple of Silence, leave the card on top, pass the turn back, and Harris is gonna take a draw and let's see. Uh, has the there's the pack rat and we may be off to the races, but let's see if George has an answer or something of his own to race. I don't think that's an answer. No, yeah. No. But he's looking for an answer, and that's why he pulled uh, the card. Okay, let's see now. So, Harris is gonna take a turn. Let's... Yeah, but that's gonna be hard actually if you don't have a detention sphere surviving until turn 6 facing a park or at. That's actually hard. Is it Brimas for next turn? No, he doesn't have a Brimas for next turn. <laughs> he doesn't have a Brimas for next turn, but he has an Elf within his heart, a Fire in the Way, and a Supreme Verdict, and now, four lands. Now that he saw the Supreme Verdict, I don't think that he can make any packs. Any, other, any more packs, yeah. Something like it. The Brimas goes away. Yeah. Was it the Brimas? No, no, no Brimas. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it is a land actually. Okay. okay, so there's a verdict, there's a fire in the way, there's Elspeth Sun Champion and three lands actually. So the rats are gonna come down for the rats and the zombie. Uh, uh, that could be the start of a joke, like a rat and the zombie won't get to a bar. No. Yeah. Okay, yeah, fine. Bad humor, but sorry. <laughs> It's like the other day I was like, I'm familiar with Judge is familiar. 
silence. <laughs> yeah. And some players aren't. Some players aren't familiar with that is familiar. Yeah, that's true. And some players do actually make mistakes, but that's mm -hmm. familiar, and it's very important not to get hit by onboard tricks in this yeah. game. Yeah. Okay, so he's gonna play Temple of Silence. He's in no hurry to uh, get the strides off the board, and by actually playing a temple, you yes, you take more damage, but oh, Lee of Sky Knight. he plays a Lee of Sky Knight, and but he will he, detain. He will detain the uh, zombie, yes. I yeah. think uh, we are in the ability of the sky on the stack. No, oh. he detained the the life vein zombie. Maybe. Let's see. But that would make it actually really difficult for him to cast verdict if he wants. So most likely he's not yeah. gonna cast verdict. Uh, but uh, he needed to put the Lewis Sky Knight in the play right now. Yeah, Lewis Sky Knight didn't need to be in the in play. Because right now what he says is, I'm not going to play Verdict, I'm gonna, I'm just going to go straight B-downs. Yeah. So <laughs> what he will do is actually play his lands and try to, you know, reach Elspeth Mania. Yeah. Okay. So there's that. So uh, he does Verdict the Brat and the Zobby away, and uh, everything's okay. Whatever he plays next yeah, turn yeah, will yeah, would meet the, yeah. the Far and Away, or the DDT Tang from the Elias Kainet, and then Elspeth. Okay. And he would be in a good position, I think. Uh, okay, I don't so know if he has uh, an alternate plan because I don't know also his sideboard plan. Okay, so uh, um, he's gonna scry. Let's see where the scry goes. I don't think that uh, Harris will put any more board commitment. No, he's not gonna scry. This the, the card in his hand. It's very weirdly, weirdly put out. Sorry. I um. Harris is not gonna put anything on board. Yeah, having seen the very big okay. hand. So, uh, George will try. Maybe he will discard if he has a land from his hand, okay. put a packard, and force him to bury the next turn. But let's see. No. Okay. Then I will see an attack from the Skynet, and I think there will be some super very tall. No, the pass. Maybe he will far and away and bounce his alias Skynet. I mean, you only bounce your opponent's guys. On. Okay, we can search the card out, yeah. Okay, so right now... So right now, let's see. Far and away. Let's see, oh, he does far and away, and he wishes... If he bounces the zombie... No, <laughs> you don't want to bounce the zombie. I mean, I don't know what you have to make him sacrifice I the rat. I not see the targets. Uh, he, he will make another rat. Yeah, yeah, but, but if you bounce the rat, that's even worse. Yeah. Yeah, so... <laughs> okay, let's see if Far and Away can bounce uh, your guys. I don't remember the card. I mean, it's a long time since we've seen it. I mean, it's... Let's see, let's check out the card, let's see what they are doing. Bounce. And he chooses to sacrifice the rat and bounce the zombie, so I'm guessing... No. Oh, he could bounce his own Sky Knight, right? Yeah, he could. So he didn't... He, he, chose... sacrificed, he sacrificed the rat. He sacrificed the rat and he bounced the zombie. But he didn't make a rat. Yeah, he should have made the rat because his opponent right now. I don't know what his uh, hand kind of contains, but I don't know if that was necessary. He needs to force that spring very out. Yeah, I mean, play yeah, his other spells. Yeah, if sometime. Right now, what uh, I believe George should have bounced his own guy and, and, then, wrath. and then wrath the field. It's like Maybe. no, just bounce my guy and make you sacrifice a rat. Take another card out of your hand. If you choose not to play a rat, then it's fine. However, uh, speaking thing. of individually powerful cards, here's Elspeth Sun Champion making three tokens and while staring down the zombie, so while staring down the zombie, so let's see if Harris has what it takes to render that Elspeth. Let's see. He has a downfall Elspeth or a Banish Glide. The Banish Glide won't do the job because there's a defensive sphere. Uh, 
Uh, okay, let's see right now. Let's see, Life Bane cannot finish uh, the job by itself, so let's see but what. He to kill Elspeth. In two turns, but by then there would have been like six tokens on the field, and that would be enough. Okay, so we here's, here's downfall. Here's downfall on the end step. Life Bane Zombie gets into the red zone. Okay, so um, right now mm, it's close. I mean, we're in a racing situation right now, and then the player who has the most tough wins. So in goes uh, all of Fugas army, and we have. 3 plus 3 equals 6, three minus, 6 minus 3 equals 3, so uh, Harris takes uh, 3 points of damage, gets down to 11 life points, and let's see now, do you need answers for that life being zombie right now in order for you to win the race? I don't know he, what uh, the other hand, what I got in his hand. You don't know the, okay, so it uh, would depend yeah. uh, on the cards in his hand, okay, yeah. Okay, so let's see right now. Uh, Fugas is gonna take a draw. He's gonna take a draw, and uh, no, excuse me. I'm really confused about how he places his heart, Sorry. Yeah. This why the Parker died without ever making another. Uh, maybe he thought uh, he was detained. I, I don't. I think that it, the, he, it wasn't detained. No, 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 no. Li then. No, life being was detained that turn. Because Liv Knight does this when he he enters the battlefield. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we have a Brimas, King of Oriscos, and the Detention Sphere to take care of Life Main Zombie. And if Harris cannot find an answer quickly, that's gonna no, be Blood, game over. No, Blood Baron would be. Uh, Blood Baron would be perfect. I mean, he could Blood focus Baron. on it forever. Uh, Jenny forever. Yeah. Blood Baron would. If you could get, Elspeth. yeah, if you could get like a Blood Baron and Elspeth or a Blood Baron and a removal spell, you are actually... Blood Baron into Elspeth uh, is a win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, it, it, the whole game came down to, you know, individually powerful cards. Yeah. Um, but I don't know, I think uh, Harris has a Blood Baron in his hand. He would just slam it, I think. <laughs> okay, so... We have all the nurses, but that's a land. I don't know. Uh, Black Baron comes into play as expected, and two mana open for the middle vault. So he has no good attacks. Now, maybe he will just choose, choose to uh, make that uh, spell verdict and uh, make himself two and a half for one against him. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, what will you I think okay, actually, I think the timer we have down there is not so correct, and I'm really sure the players have less time than the ones the, that is displayed. Yeah. So we're gonna notify them that they don't have all the time in the world and that they need okay. to speed up. Okay, so we see a soldier of the Pantheon coming down. Uh, actually, uh, the guys here have seven minutes, not the 31 minutes that's yeah. displayed. We actually kind of... It's really embarrassing, but some technical issues happen. We forgot to turn the timer on this time. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, so the guys have seven minutes on them. I don't know why he played soldier of the Pantheon. I don't know why they are in his deck. And after side boarding with the spring verdict, he sided in. Okay, so Another maybe, yeah, maybe he. It's really important to have a good sideboard plan, and maybe George is new to the deck and you know hasn't got time to actually figure out all the correct ways you can sideboard. Maybe. <laughs> okay, yeah. So right now, uh, it's very strange. Yeah, but actually, sort of a pantheon. Actually, st blocks the. Blood Baron, right? No, he no, can't. He cannot block. Blood Baron has protection from white. He can't. 
in just so so each of the guys just attack right yeah. now yeah okay uh yeah don't other. yeah that is not actually really good <laughs> yeah detention sphere takes care of another life main zombie soldier of the pantheon shrinks uh for two damage and i don't think he's winning that race uh, maybe if he finds a removal for the Brimas. I don't know why he didn't animate the Metaball to block the Soldier of the Pantheon. I don't know. Maybe he forgot that the Metaball can block the Soldier of the Pantheon? I mean, yeah, okay, Metaball. Metaball could surely come there. Maybe he needed the land. We will see right now. Okay, so. Five life, and this match is gonna be over soon, so they will not need the extra time. I don't think. If he screams now, but don't know. If he verdicts now, maybe bad. Verdict, I think. Because and if you verdict, you actually lose right now because your opponent has mutable and you. Don't uh, actually. There is one mutable, I think. There's only one? Yeah, yeah, there is only one. Yeah. And okay. uh, you can afford to take another hit from the Black Barrel going down to one life. Because then yeah, you don't have the life yeah. because yeah, Supreme Verdict yeah. will clear the board, but then the mutable will finish you off. Okay, so. Maybe he needs to kill him now. Let's see right now what's gonna happen. But then Nicole of the Pride doesn't provide a good object here. You cannot kill him. Even with the double strike ability. Okay, so right now, um, let's see. If he verdicts, he's basically resetting the game, but his he opponent has, has uh, a mutable. Two to three turns to find something. Yeah, but <coughs> does Harris have a hand? How many cards does he have in his hand? He's like. I don't know how many guys he has. Two, ca two cards, I believe. Two cards? Yeah. yeah, maybe there are two cards. Okay. And the freshly draw card from George. Deep in the tank right now. Okay, let's see what uh, the players decide to do. And it's of course round seven, so there's a lot of stress coming from these players. And of course, they will try to do their best. And you know, if George wins, he's in the top eight for sure. Harris, mm, maybe, I believe. It has two draws, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's two draws. So it's really it, do uh XO twos make it in the in the final cut in the top eight. Do guys with two draws make it? Yeah. Right now. In the today they with two draws. Yeah. Yeah. So both of them can make it. Uh yeah. Yeah. So Harris can make it and George can make it. Yeah, George has uh, oh he has one loss, so sorry. So sorry, he has one loss. So Harris is actually better than in better position than mm -hmm. uh George to win, yeah. So we see, and uh, we're still on George's turn, and uh, right now he's contemplating on what to do. I think that uh, whoever wins, he will have a very good chance. Maybe. Okay, let's see. Uh, does his list play any Zathred Necromancers? No. No, no Zathred Necromancers. No, no, no. Right. Okay. Okay, so right now we're back and uh, okay, let's see. So George, to back everything. George will go to battle and he will attack with uh, yeah. everything. Yeah. Okay, so let's see if a token will be placed. Uh, a token of uh, Ajani will and uh, sorry, Brimas will play. <laughs> Another <it>. Leon. <laughs> It's actually they're friends actually, so yeah. I don't know if that counts. Uh, in the Lord, they're friends in mm -hmm. Theros lore. So the actual damage here is three, four plus two. Oh no, uh, three plus three, six, seven, and nine points, and now the, the Blood, Blood Baron, Baron comes in. And the Blood Baron comes in <laughs> and. Good topic. Yeah. So Harris is gonna take a draw, and that actually no, we're I, we're still at uh, George's end, end step, right? Maybe. Okay, let's see. So that blood baron is actually very cruel. Come on. Yeah. 
didn't do anything on his opponent's end step. So Harris is gonna take a draw. <laughs> his Black Baron didn't untap. <laughs> the, uh, yeah, I'm sure he wants to untap that Blood Baron, but if he has oh yeah, he's he he will has, attack. Maybe, yeah, maybe he has an object that kill him. Maybe let's see. I don't know. Object that yeah. would do it. Pack rat. He plays a pack rat. What else? He plays a pack rat, and let's yeah. see what else. Don't know when thing. <laughs> can block the Blood Baron with his uh, Mila Vault. He can make a pack rat to block uh, the Brima Let's see, he can the make... Soldier of the Pantheon. Uh, it's three, actually... four, five... Uh, yeah, okay. I he... think it's lethal, right? No, yeah. uh, he's at eight. He's at eight, so... Okay, let's see. Blood Baron can be blocked by Muta Vault. Yeah, he will okay. block itself with Muta Vault and oh. he will make another pack rat. Uh, so he has three blockers and his opponent has a Brimas, a second attacker from Brimas, so it's Brimas plus another attacker, so Brimas is going to get blocked and they're going to be one, two, three, four, five, five. six guys, five. Yeah. because you, no, it's five guys five. Plus, a, plus a token from Brimas. Uh, five, he will eat one, five two, three, four, far away. five, far away. okay, yeah, so far and away is game right now? Maybe. I mean, he could wait until, you know, blockers. Okay, so right now, this is the final turn actually. Yeah, uh, in one or two turns, the uh, game will end, I think. Okay, so right now, let's see if this is lethal attack. Okay, so uh, the judges are here, and they're actually having an issue of where, when they he, he far in the weight. Of course, now they're having a judge call because right now what they could do is. Okay, so the, uh, we will have the judge call uh, as soon as possible, and. Okay, so they're discussing the issue. We're gonna send our guys there and see what they can find out. Okay, so we're back, and they're actually having a jazz call of when he activated far and away. So let's see right now. Don't know what. Why he did it main phase? He he could actually wait until the uh, and then the muta vault was activated, and he could bounce the muta vault in his his hand, and the blood baron would win the game along with a token, but the uh, go unblocked. Uh, and then what he's no, making actually, difficult? No, actually, blood baron would go through. And the other guy would have three rats to block with, so yeah, he could win the game. Yeah, he doesn't have enough mana to uh, to actually. The, he wouldn't have a rat because he has he another. Was... He can he has, he would have mana to. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, because he would have animated the beautiful. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he wouldn't have mana. Yeah. You're correct. So let's let's see what actually happened, and I don't know what the issue is. I don't know what the Okay, ah, we have the response to the far and away. He will make a rat. Maybe. Okay, so right now, let's see. Uh, 
He's making another rat and he's discarding this side. He didn't use a this side. Uh, he could have. Could, to... He could have gained back uh, life pains over. Yeah, and uh, the him. In the previous it? turn, yeah, I yeah. think, I think so, yeah. He could do it, end step, and then get back the life pain. Maybe he is then. He drew just, the card. Yeah, maybe he, he drew the card. This again. turn, don't know. Or maybe, oh no, his opponent summoned the blood baron. Yeah. So uh, he attacked with the blood baron last turn. Yeah, yeah. Oh, did he attack with well, blood baron? No. Uh, not really sure if he attacked with blood baron. Okay, yeah. So many stuff is happening, yeah. so we're not really sure. We are going to check the video out <laughs> later and yeah. see if that was a line uh, Hearts could have followed. So, right now, uh, George is going to attack with the Blood Baron. And. There's no rats. Bremas is going to attack as well. And. Let's see with how many guys he chooses to attack. He has a rat inside. I don't know what the target for the... Oh, yeah, he's counting the damage up, see if his opponent can potentially survive. Okay. The, the removal, animate the mutable, block the Pantheon for the Brimas. All the guys attack, let's see. Mutable gets animated and another card soldier gets to go into the red zone uh, right now you're may, pretty may, much may, maybe he can uh, block uh, the mutable the mutable the blood baron and uh, and uh, make a, a ultimate price or something like that uh, in order to the, survive and kill brimas the, the yeah. brimas he goes down to one and then and then he he's can, on oh, he, he will lose to the and then he can win with uh, uh, the, his own baron yeah yeah if he so, uh, he needs another top deck. He needs something like Bad Blight to get rid of the tokens in order to push that one damage that he is missing. Because Blood Baron hits for 4 and he will go up to 5, five life. So he will need one more. Yeah, he needs just one damage. I think uh, if I. Okay, so Mutable off, gets in cool. front of Brimas. Exactly. And we have a Devour Flesh. He's gonna sacrifice his own Blood Baron. Go back to 12 and take the full amount of damage. Mm -hmm. Right, so right now the. Okay, let's have the updated life total. I don't think that he has any real topics. Right now, okay, yeah, so. Uh, it... Okay, so apparently uh, because our uh, the device we have there went went off, you can hear the players. It's very loud up there. And Figus takes the match 2-1 against uh, Yahas Harris and advances to the top eight of Maybe. the W.